going from this to this so obviously there's a lot of matte throughout the image this image is sent in by josh ball so taking a look at his instagram now as you can see matte throughout the image that we're going to have to do there's obviously a bit of warmth and a little bit of blues to balance those warm tones really really silky smooth throughout the image personally really really like that that matted look we're working with this shot right here so he is going to be part of my course and join the list of really talented photographers that are teaching editing inside my course where you get the raw image you get the preset and then you get the step-by-step -step lesson from countless creators so he's actually got really good behind the scenes lessons on how he gets all of his images so i'll be linking up his youtube as well he's actually got the best youtube content out yeah look how smooth those blacks are to the mids to the highlights how smooth the highlights are as well and if you're inside the course you get the raw image to follow along in this lesson with countless other other raw images and dngs for you to download so that's for people inside the course sign up for the free training and you'll learn everything you need to know about the curves and color plus you'll get a ton of free presets dngs and raw images and a few other lessons as well if you're on the email list so make sure you sign up and let's get into this one Okay, so here's his image and our image. If we just look at the cropping, so as you can see, we just chopped in there. Uh, rule of thirds going on, centered her. So 1.8, nice depth field there. Low ISO, it's nice and bright, and then just a medium shutter there. Overall, it's exposed really, really well out of camera. And was taken on the Canon 35 millimeter macro. And then we'll just leave those profile corrections on to get rid of all that vignetting, and then up top here so we obviously want lots of warmth in the image and i'm going to choose to do it with the temperature up top so whack in lots of extra warmth there we're going to turn on the curves and i'll show you what they're doing here so so we obviously have shine to his images so in the shadows there's this lift there's that fade you can see if you look at the darkest areas so that's what's happening here you can see how we're getting that fade and then up in the sky this is probably the brightest part over here watch what's doing here just dropping the the brightest points there over in this curve we're just dropping everything again because he does have a very matted style reset the curves and see how that really drops everything drops the exposure so what we're going to do up here is just bring up the exposure a bit and now we have a nice fade going on in our image there's the curves there's nothing in the color channels and then up here we might be looking a tad green i'm just going to go this way a bit just to help with the skin tones there. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the highlights. You can see how that like, brings back. If you look really closely at the back sky there, we want all that detail and color back. Back there, bring down the exposure a bit, and I'm gonna up the shadows, because I feel like we can see more down here. Blacks, the darkest areas. So there are gonna be quite a few brushes and stuff coming in. So remember that, like brightening the subject. So all of this might not make complete sense right now. Like we're a little dark, but like I said, I'm gonna bring in a brush. Luminance might play a role. So luminance is the brightness of colors. So like the yellows, a little bit of the oranges, maybe some greens. So greens is a really obvious one. We were gonna desaturate them and then they often go very blue when you desaturate your greens yellows maybe a bit and then some quick colors in the hs cell so we look to yellow we want more oranges so we'll go that way and then we will go this way as well to get more reds into our skin tones and then the reds i actually want to go towards oranges and then yellows could go a bit further greens so they're quite blue and then we get so much warmth from our temperature here so it's got this so the greens have this warmish tone to them so might go this way which is less warm and we keep them quite blue otherwise they go a bit too warm um, and then there's not much blue or anything in this one right at the back there's a tiny bit um, i'll just bring it down a touch luminance up a bit Keep the greens down maybe just go exposure up a bit and then what i want to do is just bring down the saturation of those yellows especially or maybe the oranges I'll go yellows and then up here i'm going to bring up the vibrance while we're up here we'll just drop the clarity for a bit more of a natural look i feel 
sort of softens the image, gives it a bit of a glow, less sharpening. I'm gonna do more contrast overall, it just needs it, I think. So I want these greens to go a bit more blue. Let's go with that. You can see we get that cooling off to the bottom half of the image, all those blues. All right, so we're just about done. We'll come up. So that's not looking too bad, but what I might do is just keep it a bit darker and then brighten the subject just with like filter and stuff like that. So we've got some filters here that I've already done. So this big one in the middle and what we'll do is just bring up the exposure a bit. Or it might go shadows, might be easier. Or like it'll look softer by doing the shadows. And might add extra saturation to our subject. Exposure. Highlights just for a glow to her face. The shadows just to keep it soft. Just her dress. So this one and we'll go just a bit of exposure as well. Then we just got one at the back for all these sunflowers here. So we just turn that off. And if we just look at them, I want them to have a bit more color or oranges to them. So what I'll do is just add lots of purple and they just automatically go way more orange. So I think that just brings out way more color in them. Because if we do it in HSL, we will affect the dress at the same time and we don't want to do that. Okay, sharpening just a little bit. This is a screenshot. I like a low amount of sharpening for something like that. For grain, not that much grain, not too noticeable, but we'll go with a little bit. Okay, and there might be a reduction of clarity to her skin just for a bit more smoothness to it. And then obviously this thing down here, t-shirt or jersey or something's been photoshopped out. And then maybe a bit of brushing to some of these flowers just to make them stand out possibly. But I'd say the main takeaways is we got it nice and warm with the temperature there. Highlights, really bringing them down, brings back all the detail in the sky. And it helps with getting a bit of Mac to your image. And then I'd say, the curves are really important so off and on and then these adjustments change very much photo to photo but for this photo bring down saturation is really important a few hue adjustments and then luminance played a bit of a, bit of a role there so the brightness of the yellows and stuff like that and then just cooling off those shadows with those warm tones that we put up top in the um, temperature low amount of sharpening profile corrections and then all our adjustments so, so if we click delete all bring them back that's what we've got if we go reset and after so i'll be linking his youtube as well so you can actually see how he captures these images sign up to the free training where you will learn the curves color free presets free dngs free raw images if you're in the email list so every week i'm like sending out free presets free dngs free instructional videos on the email list then in the course we just hit over 200 lessons so that's crazy like there's like 200 lightroom tutorials on youtube here but there's 200 more over in the course where i've teamed up with a bunch of creators click over and just have a read through all the testimonials and just listen to everyone who's been through the course and what they've thought of it comment down below who you guys want to see on this channel so i can go reach out to them on instagram why would you say someone should go for my course rather than someone else's i just think it's the level of depth and detail uh, to is is massive firstly yeah. Cool. So if you just want to look at someone do it and, and kind of repeat it without a load of understanding, go on someone else's course. If you really want to understand something in depth so you can apply it and get and become creative, please make your own shots, make your own style, 100% your, your course. It's the only one that has that much depth and, and insight into the thinking process. Also the RAWs actually I, I think are really have some of them where you've applied it it's so you can reset it um, mm. and then try it out yourself and then the actual ones that you're demonstrating the, the fact that you include the creators rules as well i was really like happy but like being able to see like oh this is what that shot looked like in camera and then seeing his editing process helps you find you know shots that you might not have seen otherwise so i, I find that creates a lot of transparency you know, other courses don't necessarily have. Catch you in the next one.